Osiris, a guardian, once the warlock Fangard, whose decisive beliefs led him to leave the city in exile. Osiris was raised to life in the Dark Age, and eventually made his way to the place that would be the city to attempt to speak with the Traveller and learn why ghosts chose the guardians they did. There he met Saint Fourteen, who he would eventually become romantically involved with. Osiris fought alongside the Titans at the Battle of Six Fronts, after which Saint Fourteen recommended that Osiris be appointed as Vanguard Commander. Before his banishment, Osiris also mentored Ikora Ray. While Vanguard, Osiris grew tired of his role and began to question the motives of the Traveller. He became fascinated by the nature of the darkness and he pursued a number of controversial avenues to further his understanding, including Ahamkara lore and Thanatonautics. He was especially interested in understanding Oryx and the Vex. Osiris quickly became a popular, if unwilling, figure, with many guardians and city goers alike sharing his opinions on the speaker and the traveller. The followers of Osiris grew around what Osiris viewed as a misinterpretation of his teachings. However, as Osiris continued to entertain them, their numbers increased. The popularity of his forbidden truths only grew with the publication of the prophecies of Osiris. His questioning of the speaker and the traveller was considered disloyal, and the sway that he held over guardians was considered dangerous as was the decisiveness of his beliefs. Osiris was exiled by the Speaker, a decision backed by the other members of the consensus, though he left the city unwillingly. Osiris's prophecies were deemed unsafe, and the Speaker ordered Ikora Ray to burn them, though she refused to do so, instead moving them into her private collection. After his exile, Osiris retreated to Mercury in order to study the Infinite Forest. Osiris left behind a number of adherents who remained loyal to him. His study of the Vex led him to set up a number of camps across Mercury, including the Lighthouse. After the release of Skolos, two guardians visited the Queen of the Reef and asked for aid in defeating Oryx. It is believed that these guardians were Eris Morn and Osiris but this has not been confirmed. Some time after the end of the Red War, Osiris was discovered by the Vex while exploring a simulation of the Vault of Glass. He flung his ghost Sagira through a Vex portal to try and guarantee her escape. Sagira was injured by a Vex rifle, rendering her inoperable. A member of Ikora's Hidden discovered her on Mercury and returned her to the tower. After Sagira's restoration and Panopti's defeat, Osiris was reunited with his ghost and they returned to the forest. One of Osiris' followers, Brother Vance, was stationed in the lighthouse on Mercury, along with several other cultists, prior to the planet being consumed by darkness. After returning to the infinite forest, Osiris began work on the sundial, a device that would allow him to traverse the forest rapidly, find the point of Saint-14's death at the hands of the Vex, and prevent it from ever happening. The device didn't work, despite Osiris' best attempts, and he shut it down and hid it. He would come to regret this shortly after the slaying of the Undying Mind, when Scions uncovered the Sundial and attempted to use it to revert the Red War. Osiris used the opportunity to guide the Guardian on how to use the Sundial, saving Saint-14 and thwarting the plans of the Scions. Having successfully returned Saint 14 to life, Osiris left his partner in charge of the trials of Osiris and went to speak to Rasputin, who directed him to the outer edge of the solar system, where he found a strange seed. He was given a message from Mara, through Brother Vance, to plant the seed. After the Traveller reawoke, Osiris investigated the planets that the darkness engulfed. Finding nothing significant, he turned his search to Hive Signals strange monoliths that had grown in the tangled shore. This was a trap from the hive goddess of war, Zivu Araf, and when Osiris' investigation led him to the remains of Crota's brood deep within the moon, Zivu Araf struck, springing the trap. 
Osiris would have died, but Sagira sacrificed herself to save his life. Now lightless, Osiris continued to try to hunt down the hive until he nearly died his final death at the hands of a knight, only to be saved by Crow and the Guardian. Returning to the city, Osiris was appointed as Zavala's assistant. In this capacity, he has helped deal with ongoing crises such as the cryptoglyphs, the treaty with the Cabal, and the Endless Night. He also serves as a mentor to Crow.